Welcome back to Nighthawk Films, everyone. My name is Ian Allen, and today I am bringing you another reaction video. Now, the last one we did was Five Nights at Freddy's teaser, which was a live stream that I had a friend of mine join. But for today, we are going to be reacting to Craven the Hunter trailer. Now, this trailer came out, I think actually it came out on Monday, so I'm a little bit two days late on this. A, a, so this is a part of the new Sony Spider-Verse that they're trying to create, which is kind of strange. Sony is trying to make a a villain Spider-Man universe without Spider-Man. So, because like first you had the Venom movies, and you had Morbius, and you, now you're having Kraven. I, I don't, I honestly don't know why they're trying to make a whole entire Spider-Verse or Sony-Verse for Spider-Man, but not include him. They're just making movies about the villains. Unless this is supposed to set up the Sinister Six for another uh, Spider-Man movie that they're going to make. I don't know. Okay, so with that being said, let's begin. Also, I will remember to leave the original video's link in the description below if you guys want to check this video out for yourselves. And I'm also realizing that this trailer is three minutes long, which is kind of un unheard of for a trailer. Because most trailers are not usually three minutes long. And if I believe correctly... The person who is playing Craven, actually, I don't remember how to say his name, but he played Quicksilver or Pietro Maximoff in Avengers Age of Ultron. Anyways, let's begin. And also, you guys know this is a trailer. It might get a copyright claim. It might not. Who knows? Ooh. His hunt starts now. Okay. So is he in England or somewhere in London? I don't. I, I don't know. All I know is I saw the British flag. My son, never show mercy. Whoa! Where is he going? They are prey. We are predators. Was that? Is that Russell Crowe? Boys, your mother is dead. So he had two sons. Okay. She died because you sent her away. She was weak, sick in her mind. You okay. know my business, yes? Power is about strength. If you show weakness, you will give our enemies an opening. I'm going to go out on a limb and say that this movie is going to be rated R. Shoot. Shoot. Ooh. Ow. He is weak, like his mother. Leave him. What happened that day? I stared death in the face, and for the first time, I saw my true self. Okay, so just to recap saying this, I don't really know too much about Kraven. All I know is that Kraven is, is a villain of Spider-Man who he is, I think, tasked or like he's tasked to hunt him down in some ways. And if I believe correctly, I think he has like the ability to kind of mimic a certain or, you know, mimic certain uh, characteristics or fighting moves of other characters, kind of like Taskmaster in a way. But okay, so he has he has when uh, when the lion bit him, the some of the blood got into his bloodstream, and now he has lion DNA, or he's part lion or something. What? I didn't think that that was a thing that was a part of Craven. I mean, I guess that would explain how he has a little bit of some enhanced speed and strength. This October, Tell okay. Me about this hunter. They say he uses a connection with animals to track his prey. Oh, okay. And once you're on his list, there's only one way off. There's six of us, and only one of you. There's six of you now. Whoa. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, this movie is going to be rated R. I mean, he just, he literally just bit his a dude's note off. Note, note, uh, 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 uh. <laughs> He just bit his nose off. Why do you hunt? My father puts evil into the world. I take it out. Mm. 
So is oh god, is he? Oh my god, he he throws a bear trap at his head. So wait, is is Craven hunting his father's men? Is that what he's doing? He said that his father puts evil into the world, and he's just trying to take him out. He's trying to take evil out of the world, so he's taking out his men, his henchmen. Okay. Oh my god. I think you're some kind of honor. You are exactly like our father. Just another man hunting for a trophy. We're murderers. Isn't that what he taught us? You don't get to do that to me anymore. What's with all the spiders? Mr. Teglin? Mr. Teglin? Where's Mr. Teglin? Oh, you're standing in him. Oh! Ooh. You're a goddamn lunatic. Oh, you just figure that out now? <laughs> Whoa! Raven the Hunter. There is an animal in each one of us. Don't you want to know why they call me the Rhino? Oh, okay. Okay, so it looks like they're bringing the rhino into this, but instead of having it be like the Russian guy from Spider-Man uh, Far From Home, or Spider-Man, or The Amazing Spider-Man 2, we're actually getting an actual rhino. I did hear that the, the rhino was going to be in Craven the Hunter. Okay, so he's talking about, like, you know, there's an animal inside all of us. Is this, like, oh, 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 could this be, like, a connection to Morbius? Because he fuses DNA with vampire DNA? Yeah, I can definitely tell that this movie is going to be rated R. I am interested in seeing this. Actually, looks it looks it looks good to me. I I think it looks interesting. I'm wondering what's up with the spiders though. Why is why is I mean is he afraid of spiders? Is he, was he just not expecting it? You know, now that I think about it, now that I think about it, when it comes to I guess when it comes to Craven the Hunter, I think we just basically added our last two members of a Sinister Six. I mean, think about this for a second. If we look at all of the Sony-based villains for or that are Spider-Man villains, because technically we did have a Sinister Six in Spider-Man No Way Home. If you just count, like, if you count Mysterio, even though he wasn't in the movie, he was just, you know, he's the cause of all of this. He was the cause of No Way Home happening. But we still ended up getting five villains. You know, Green Goblin, Dr. Octopus, Sandman, Electro, and Lizard. So we didn't technically get a Sinister Six, unless we unless we're counting Mysterio. Not really. However, however, if Sony is trying to make a, because uh, I know that Spider-Man Four is coming with Tom Holland, and apparently I think because of the writer's strike that's going on, uh, the movie won't be out till either next year or 2025. However, I don't think that. I mean, it's going to be kind of strange. I do think that Tom Holland's Spider-Man, or at least Spider-Man 4, is going to be another MCU movie. Actually, do you know what would make more sense? What if, because I, oh man, if they were to do Amazing, because I heard that they, were, they might be doing Amazing Spider-Man 3 with Andrew Garfield. What if they're getting his Sinister Six set up for Spider-Man 3? Because, okay, obviously we have Venom. We have Morbius, we have Kraven, but if you look back at the end, if you guys have seen Morbius, um, at the end for the end credit, which is, this makes no sense, Vulture from the MCU comes to this universe where Morbius is, so that would, okay, so there's, you know, Venom, Morbius, and Kraven, but then we have Vulture, and then in this movie we bring in the Rhino, that would be five. So... I mean, you could set, you could count Carnage, but Carnage was killed in Venom 2. Maybe maybe we'll see Mr. Negative or something. Maybe we'll get a note to it. Maybe, who knows, maybe Spot from uh, Across the Spider-Verse will be the sixth member. I don't know. I mean, I mean, it, honestly, if they are trying to... Because I think they said that for Spider-Man 4 with Tom Holland, it might be more Sony-based. So if they're going to do, you know... Sinister Six with Tom Holland, I mean, this would be a bigger lineup. That's, I, that's just me. I don't know. 
I don't know. We'll have to see. Honestly, it does look interesting. I do think it is definitely going to be rated R. I like how they say it's like not rated yet. But I, I you know what? I am actually kind of looking forward to this. I do think that there might be uh, a because I mean again, this is a Marvel character. This is a Spider-Man villain. I I think there's they got to be setting up something because. I mean, who knows? Maybe they're just setting up something to have it go nowhere. Because Venom technically is now in the MCU because of the events of No Way Home. He left a tiny piece of him there. Probably he did that because there wasn't a, a symbiote there. Who knows? Vulture from the MCU went to Morbius' universe. Which, and my, personally, I think that Venom and Morbius take place in Andrew Garfield. I'm either that was confirmed, or I'm pretty sure that those two movies take place in Andrew Garfield's universe. I want to say Craven might as well. I wouldn't be surprised if Craven did. And again, there well, there already is a rhino there, but that was just a guy in a suit. So who knows? Maybe this movie will have some connection. I, I don't know. Either way, I can't wait to see what they do with Craven. Um also that was a really long trailer too. Aaron Taylor. That's his name. Aaron Taylor Johnson. That's the guy who plays uh Craven. He also played Quicksilver in Age of Ultron. Oh, there we go. Okay, well, that's gonna be it for today's episode of Nighthawk Reacts. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Personally, I think it looked really cool. I I think we're gonna get, I, I know it's gonna be rated R. I, again, I'm not too, like, I'm not too familiar with Kraven and his work. I didn't know that Kraven gets DNA from, from a lion, and that's what makes him, you know, that's what makes him like get some of his abilities or his uh, enhanced like again yeah super he he has it seems like he has like super agility a little bit of some super strength it looks like he also has the obviously the connection with animals I guess because the blood of a lion dripped into his wound when the lion bit him and it turned him into that I which which makes it kind of strange I didn't know that was a thing because I've only seen him either in comics or I've only seen him in cartoons or. TV shows and stuff like that, or play video games, which Craven is going to be in the new Spider-Man 2 game, so who knows? Who knows? Who knows what they're going to do with it? Anyways, with that being said, remember to share this video with your friends and family. I hope you guys have an amazing day, and I will see you guys in the next video. And let me know what your guys' thoughts are on Craven the Hunter. Anyways, bye!